we are lucky that today that we're not planning for a funeral. Um, and so we have an injured officer who has a, a long recovery ahead of them. A Columbus police officer is in the hospital tonight after a scary crash on the highway. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. Hello to you. I'm Carrie Charles. That crash happened Sunday night on I-670. A vehicle slammed into the officer's cruiser, which then slammed into him. NBC4's Eric Halpern spoke with the officer's commander about how he's doing and the investigation. Officer Hansel Henry was helping out other drivers on the highway. According to his commander, Knowing how dangerous being there was, he was working on getting them to a safer place. That's when the crash happened. We want to warn you, some of this video can be difficult to watch. It's a little after 9 Sunday night. You're watching video NBC4 requested from the Ohio Department of Transportation. Columbus Police Officer Hansel Henry has his cruiser parked behind two drivers. One of the cars is broken down and Officer Henry has stopped to help. Then you see a white minivan coming down the highway. It slams into the police cruiser, which then hits Officer Henry before crashing into the other cars, narrowly missing one of the other people. It's hard to watch, and uh, you know, last night I had a chance to talk to the officer, and, and it just you get a lump in your throat hearing the story from him. This happened on Interstate 670 West by the exit ramp to Fourth Street. As time passes, more cars stop and more people surround the officer. The situation that this other this driver put this officer and these two members of our community in uh, was extremely dangerous, and it's all a matter of being inattentive just for a couple of seconds. Commander Dwayne Mabry says so far the investigation points to the driver of the minivan driving distracted. He calls this a terrifying reminder of how dangerous being on highways is and the importance of paying attention to the road when behind the wheel. I am grateful that, that he's alive and he's telling us the story. I really am. I will tell you that he does have a long recovery ahead of him with the injuries sustained out of this, uh, and we're lucky it wasn't worse than it was. The crash is still under investigation. Commander Mabry says that'll determine what the driver is cited for or charged with. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4. This is the second time within a week a member of law enforcement has been struck by a vehicle while assisting other drivers. 29-year-old Leah Wheel of Georgia is being charged with aggravated vehicular assault in possession of controlled substances. She is accused of crashing into and injuring an Ohio State trooper on I-71 last Monday. Meanwhile, Ohio will soon have stiffer penalties for drivers who are distracted on the roads. The new distracted driving law is set to take effect in early Early April. It makes things like texting and watching a video on your phone a primary offense, meaning law enforcement officers won't need another violation to pull you over. Penalties include a fine of up to $150 and two points on your license. Those penalties increase for repeat offenses. We also want to remind you of Ohio's move over law. Drivers are required to move over by one lane when passing any vehicle with flashing lights parked on the side of the road. If it's not safe to change lanes, drivers are asked to slow down and use caution.